We're at Petrified Tree in Yellowstone National Park. Hi, my name is Bob Enyart with Real Science Radio. A couple decades ago, there was an exhibit here that said that this and other petrified trees had grown in situ, in this location, on various strata, and it happened dozens of times over. Well, 1980, when Mount St. Helens blew, then a geologist, Dr. Stephen Austin, doing research there on Spirit Lake, found that trees that were destroyed in a catastrophe were floating on the lake, and as they got waterlogged, they would sink vertically. They were upright floaters, and when they hit the bottom of the lake, as sediments continued to pour in and fill up the lake, other trees came down at different layers. And so he realized that that was the model that likely produced the trees here petrified in Yellowstone. Well, in 1995, my wife and I went to Maui and had dinner in the home of the National Park Ranger there at Haleakala. His name is Mark Tanaka Sanders. We discussed the fact that these trees at Yellowstone do not have root systems. The remnants of the petrified trees in dozens of different strata on this general hillside are missing roots. The roots are abruptly broken off two to three feet from the base of the trees. You can picture this tree did not grow here. It grew elsewhere. It was knocked over in a catastrophe. It was floating with many other trees. It became waterlogged and because of the rocks that were bound up in the roots of the tree, and for other reasons, obviously. The tree began to sink, but it was an upright floater, and it came into the bottom of what was at that time, the bottom of a lake. As the sediments continued to settle from that catastrophe, other upright floaters sunk in slightly different layers. Working with Mark Tanaka Sanders, we petitioned the National Park Service to get them to remove that exhibit that misrepresented the origin of these trees. If you notice at the exhibit, there's no mention of upright floaters. There's no mention of a lack of a root system below the petrified trees here. And that's probably for a reason. If you're interested in finding out more, please go online to rsr.org, that's for Real Science Radio.